Hi, in this video we're going to talk about what makes a function differentiable. Uh, and also I'll introduce the power rule. Um, so for a function to be differentiable, two criteria have to be in place. The function has to be uh, continuous and it has to be smooth. Uh, so just write that down. Uh, so we differentiable, the function has to be continuous, and then it has to be smooth. Um, we've discussed what makes something continuous in a prior video. Uh, smoothness is just what it sounds like, no corners, no sharp turns. Uh, let's just talk about um, that concept here for a minute. Um, so. An example of something that is not continuous, let's just start, excuse me, not smooth. Let's just use the absolute value of x. Okay, so that's roughly the absolute value of x. Um, and, and also keep in mind, differentiability is always point-wise defined. So if something is maybe not differentiable, in this region, every other point on the absolute value of x is differentiable because every other point is smooth. Uh, so, you know, just because a function is not differentiable at one spot, uh, don't, don't get the wrong idea about the entire function at other points. Um, if you tried to draw a tangent line at this point, at this, at this corner, um, what you would find is that you wouldn't exactly know what sl the slope is. You know, you could draw that tangent line, or that tangent line, or that tangent line. And uh, basically, what you find is when you have two different slopes on the right side and the left side, you know, the right side slope would be that, the left side slope is that, um, then there's no universal slope of the tangent line at that point, and that's why this is not differentiable. If you have a nice, uh, smooth curve, maybe like that, and you take a, a, a tangent line at that point and, you know, draw it, the slope right there and right there match. The left-hand slope and the right-hand slope right before and after that point of interest match. And that's what allows you to say that that tangent line slope uh, is representative of the slope of the curve right at that spot. Uh, at this spot, you know, if you're slightly on the right or on the left, we have this gigantic change in, in, in slope. So um, there's no just universal, this is the slope, this is the, the uh, gradient at this point. That's why a corner like that uh, is something that's not differentiable. And uh, in general, that's why something has to be, a curve has to be smooth to not be differentiable. Um, some just quick, <clears throat> so this is a corner. Uh, if it's something kind of curvy like that, it's called a cusp. Uh, it really doesn't make any difference at all what, if it's a corner or a cusp. That's just kind of a, a vocabulary issue, but it, there's no different treatment at all. Um, another way that you can have a non-differentiable function is with a vertical tangent. So something like this, this is y equals x to the one-third. Um, here, if you tried to draw a tangent line at zero, just at that spot, the tangent line is vertical. And obviously, with a vertical line, the slope is undefined. So that's kind of another uh, vertical tangent line. That's another reason that... It, function is not differentiable. Um, and uh, that one's kind of tricky because it, it this is an exception. It's not, uh, the, the curve is smooth uh, and it is continuous. The thing that makes it not differentiable is it's not a function uh, right at that spot. If you just looked right there, it's uh, uh, the vertical tangent line is, is not a function. So, and uh, then the other uh, non-continuous cases uh, maybe something like f of x is, uh, we'll just uh, 
5 and 3 at x less than 0 and x bigger than 0. So that would be something like this where you have here's 3 and 5. Uh, maybe an open circle going left and um, a closed dot going right. You can see in that uh, in that uh, function, uh, it's uh, not continuous. Oh, I did get off the page. So that's not continuous. That's why that's not not differentiable at zero. So those are reasons that uh, a, a function may not be differentiable. Um, I'm going to make a few more comments about this, but that's a that's a good introduction. Uh, and I'm going to come back and refer to this uh, problem in just a moment. Um, sometimes you may be asked to take a piecewise function and make it um, and make it differentiable. So um, if you uh, if you remember, we had an example uh, in the continuity. Um, video where uh, we had something like 2x uh, plus 3 uh, for x less than 1 and then uh, x plus a for x bigger than or equal to 1 and you had to pick a to make g of x continuous and so all you did is you said, well, at x equals 1, 2x plus 3 has to equal 1x plus a. And you could take away x and you get x plus 3 equals a. And so uh, x was 1. So you could see that a was 4. And so you come up here and say, well, if this is 4, that causes uh, this to be continuous. Uh, to make it differentiable, you're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to take g on the left and right equal to each other. Let's just write this down. g of x on the left has to be g of x on the right. Also, g prime of x on the left has to equal g prime of x on the right. So not only do their... their um, do their uh, points have to match to make it continuous? The derivatives have to match in order to make it smooth. Uh, so let's just uh, take a, an example uh, real quick here. Um, and Just keep a nice, how uh, 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 about ax squared plus 1 for x uh, less than 1. And then um, we'll do um, 2x uh, plus 3. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I want to. I don't want to use that one. I'm going to pick out a different problem. I, I I don't like that one. This would be a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're going to do sine of 2x for x is less than or equal to 0. And then just mx for x bigger than 0. And uh, I'm going to know when, uh, what values of n make this uh, differentiable uh, at 0. So uh, just a couple things I need to tell you real quick. Uh, 
is uh, I need to tell you about the derivative of sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. And uh, using uh, what's called the chain rule, the derivative of sine 2x will actually be 2 cosine 2x. Um, so let's just go ahead and um, consider the, uh, I'm just going to do a little L here to be informal and say, let's look at the left function and see what makes that equal to the right of the function at zero. So I'm just going to go up here and say, if I put in um, uh, zero uh, sine of two times zero equals zero, and if I put in zero here, m times zero equals zero. So I'd say, uh, check that that's true. So uh, this is continuous. And now I'm going to just look at the left derivative and the right derivative. The left derivative in terms of x, I told you, and we'll deal with this in more detail later, but I'm just going to tell you this now, is 2 cosine of 2x and um, f prime of the right side. Uh, the derivative of m times x is just, is just m. Um, so if you want to, uh, and that's from the power rule, um, so if you want to put in 0, get 2 cosine of 0 equals 2. And uh, the right at 0 is m. So if, uh, if m equals 2, uh, then f of x is differentiable. Uh, one last topic in this uh, section about continuity is uh, numerical derivatives. So uh, we learned about the definition of a derivative. It looked like this. Excuse me. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Um, and we took something such as... Uh, Let's do like 3x squared plus 5x uh, minus 3. And uh, I plugged in x plus h here and here and put that in uh, this section of the formula and then f of x here and did a bunch of algebra. And uh, if you have a, and, and so the nice thing about using the definition of a derivative is it gives me a derivative formula that allows me at any, it's a function of x, at any value of x, you can just plug in x and kabam, you've got your slope. Uh, if you want something a little bit less uh, granular and more aimed at a certain value of x, you can just kind of make an estimate of the derivative. Um, I'm just going to say at x equals 2. Let's estimate uh, the derivative at x equals 2. f prime of 2 equals, I'm just going to do question mark. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a small h. And uh, like I said, this is an estimate. So maybe h can be about 0 0.01. Yeah, you know, just pick a small number. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to say f prime of 2 is about equal to, it's not, it's an, it's an estimate, um, f of, uh, 2.01 minus f of 2 over 0.01. So this is you know, a lot less algebra, but a little bit more of a uh, you know questionable answer. But you know, it, it's it's uh, it's an answer. Um, I'm going to so I'll tell you what I'm going to just enter this equation in for f of x because I don't want to type this in a bunch of times. 3x squared plus 5x minus 3. So that's my function typed into y1. I'm going to quit. Uh, I'm going to go to vars right here. I'm going to go to y vars, pick function, and pick y1. And this allows me to put in a value. So y1 at 2.01, that's the same as me plugging in um, 2.01 to function f, and then minus back to vars, y vars function. This just keeps you from having to type all this stuff in all over and over again. And uh, I'm gonna put all this in parentheses, so I should have done that to start. Insert, 
parenthesis. So that's f of x plus h minus f of x divided by uh, 0 0.01. And so you can see that my derivative, my numerical derivative is about 17.03. And I'm going to just cheat here for a second and use the power rule. f prime is 6x plus 5. And we're just going to plug in 2. 6 times 2 plus 5 is, is 17. So you can see that's, that's a pretty good estimate. If you wanted to go back here, I'm going to push second, uh, enter. So second, enter, bring all that up again. I'm just going to stick an extra zero in here, make it not 0 0.01, 0 0.001. You insert, and then just put a zero in there, and then insert, put a zero in there. So we have a, even a smaller step size. And you can see now that we actually are really even closer to 17. So uh, this wraps up uh, my comments about continuity and differentiability uh, and, and what makes a function differentiable. Um, and uh, so that's it.